Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm building on the same lot that I've built on last Wednesday and it's a lot where I decided to place more of the um, shopping district of Harry Potter, so Diagon Alley. And I decided that I would do the pet shop that is in Diagon Alley. And we do have some like drawings and pictures of it that illustrate it quite nicely. And I thought I would just use those as a guide for how it would look in my, well, town square or whatever you would want to call it. And as you can see, I decided on blue because there was no purple, sadly. So in the illustrations that we have, it's quite clearly uh, that there's a lot of purple, but we don't have any purple like accents in the base game, so I couldn't use that, which I was a little bit sad about, but then I decided I would just go for blue to also have like a cohesive color scheme and I think blue is like the closest that I could get to it, to it. So yeah, I decided on that. And here you can see me struggling with the columns. I don't know why they wouldn't go any higher than what they did, but they didn't and I decided to just not bother and do something else instead. And then I did the windows. I've already done a bunch of them, but now I'm putting in all of them that we see in the illustrations. There are a few on the sides and of course also some on the back. And here you can see me struggling again with the columns and for some reason it's something to do with the platforms. I'm not sure what but I just deleted the platform on those sides so I could actually put the columns down and use them appropriately. And I was really conscious of making sure that the whole outside looks right, like in the illustrations, because we don't really have anything, any pictures or illustrations from the inside. So I really wanted the outside to look right and look like the illustrations. Sadly, there are quite a lot of like exposed bricks that are like just the paint peeling off or something or yeah the structural stucco above it that it's peeling off and we don't have any like wallpaper that mimics that really so I decided to go for the like loosely painted brick that I've already used for the other shop which I thought made the whole area a little bit more cohesive as well and of course it looks the most like what in the what's in the illustrations. I also put down a fireplace because they do have a large chimney and I thought in the Harry Potter world it always makes sense to have a chimney so I decided to just go for it. Then I deleted a lot of the second floor just because I could and I thought it would make for a nicer shop area because it makes it look less constricted and just more open which of course doesn't make sense because it's an open floor then and I put down a bunch of counters to be like the space where you actually buy stuff and the shopkeeper is and I also put down a pot above the fireplace because I thought it would be a nice touch as the flow, flow powder space so where they keep their flow powder so people can actually go about their day from there as well and then I put down a bunch of different things to put the sh shopping goods on and I wanted it to look a little bit eccentric and weird so that's why I chose like the butler and the like Roman statue yeah just to make it look interesting as well. And then I needed to put
put down stuff to fill that is going to be sold at that store and I decided to go for some like random things just some boxes and stuff just to fill more space but I also constructed those cages or cage-like things out of the wooden arches just because I thought okay it's a store that sells animals that's what I'm actually going to do so I really wanted it to look a little bit like it so maybe there's some bird cages just why not and then I went into the debug menu and found those animal statues and put a bunch of them down as you can see there's some bears and some dragons as well which appropriate because Harry Potter does have tra dragons but of course they are not that small and also not cuddly and you can't buy them there either but yeah I just went to all the animals and put a bunch of them down to have a little bit of variation but have like actual animals there of course they're just statues but imagine if they were animals we don't we can't actually sell elements in a shop in the Sims, but I wanted to mimic it as closely as I could. And I think I actually managed to do quite well with the restrictions that I had. And I also put down a bunch of the animals on the railing, just because I could. And I think it looks better. And then I went back and changed the wall a little bit to make it a little bit darker, just because I wanted to. And then I was finished. Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!